The John Morris Show, episode 109. In this episode, beware the coder career killer. The John Morris Show, your life on code. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, John Morris. Hey everybody, welcome back to The John Morris Show on johnmorrisonline.com. You know, I find it kind of interesting because I bet if you told most new developers that it was going to take them a year to learn a language like PHP, they'd probably throw themselves on the floor into fits of, fits of rage and desperation, frantically repeating, not me, not me. Because for most, it just seems like a year is way too long. Then you compare that, that to the email I received the other day. Hey, John, I just wanted to say thank you for all the emails you sent out and all the hard work that you continue to put in to help others. I really appreciate your concern for guys and girls who need guidance in the world of web development. Now, just a few lines about me. I'm a front-end developer. I am working as a front-end developer intern. I just got this position a week ago. I really, really like this coding stuff. And I've only been learning to code by myself a year now. Anyway, thank you for your tips and help. I greatly appreciate all of it. So one year and he landed himself an intern position. So should he be disappointed or frustrated that maybe he hasn't gotten further in that one year's time like probably a lot of developers might be? Hell no. Now, let me frame this same question or the same scenario a little bit different way. So let's say that you're 25 years old or maybe you're 30 or 35 or 40, whatever, whatever age you are. What if I told you that one year from now, you could acquire the skills necessary to propel, propel yourself down an entirely new career path? That you love what you did on a daily basis, you'd work on projects that mattered, you'd work with people who were like you and really got you, you'd make good money doing it, and you'd have the whole rest of your life to do it. Would that one year seem like such a big deal then? Probably not. And so the point is patience. It's like Gary Vaynerchuk always says. So in early 2006, I started Wine Library TV. And for 19 months, I did that show five days a week. And nobody gave a crap. So when I get emails, which I get 50 of them a day from entrepreneurs who are like, hey, I know you always talk about patience. I've been doing this and it's not working. Should I give up and do something else? And I'll inevitably email back and be like, how long have you been doing it? And they'll say, oh, four months. And I'm like, F you. You want this to be your life and you're giving up after four months? Are you out of your mind? So here's the real problem with being impatient. I got started online way back in 2004 and I was in Iraq and I was nearing the end of my tour and I was in the Army Reserves. So when I got back home, I'd be off active duty orders, and I had to go back to a regular civilian job. On top of that, my wife and I were getting divorced, and my dad had been diagnosed with cancer and diabetes while I was there, so I had used all of my leave to go back home and see him. So I had about three days of leave left. So I knew that I had about a max of three or four days right back from Iraq, and then I was going to be thrown kind of back into the wolves. And I had no job, no car. And I had no place to live because I was in the middle of a divorce. So honestly, at that point, I can remember, I was absolutely terrified. And I remember the day that I got released from Fort Riley. And I was officially done with my Iraq tour. That that day, I drove about two hours from Fort Riley to my brother's house in near Omaha. And my mom and a few nieces and nephews were there. And... They'd heard that I was coming, so in that time, when I got there, they had made a whole bunch of cards for me, and you know, they said things like, welcome back, glad you made it home safe, all that kind of stuff. At that point where I was, 
in my life, I couldn't handle it. And I went in the bathroom and I just bawled for about an hour because I was so stressed out and overwhelmed. And then when I got done, I just got up and left. So needless to say, at that point in my life, I was very impatient. And I spent the next five or six years hopping from opportunity to opportunity online. And I tried several different products and businesses. I jumped at every shiny object and course and tool because I was desperate for a way out. And frankly, it wasn't all that long ago that I finally got my stuff together. And I did it because I forced myself to learn how to be patient. I blocked out all the noise and I focused in on what I wanted. And I stopped spinning my wheels. And since th then, things have turned 180. Now, I won't say it was overnight or easy. And there's been times when things have been tough and times when things have been slow. But I'm miles further than I was just sitting there, spinning my wheels, hopping from thing to thing, never really building anything of significance because I was impatient. So my advice to you with all of this is slow down. Think about what it is that you really want five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. And when you think in those terms, one year is nothing. It's just a step in the overall strategy of you designing your career and your life, which is what you should be doing. And strategy requires discipline. It requires patience. Now, let me get a little bit weirder on you for a second, because there are some very specific things that I do on a daily basis that others might think are strange that help me to build up my patience. That's because to me, patience isn't something that just happens. It's, it's more about than just willpower. It's like a muscle and you have to build it up. Now, the exciting thing about that, the fact that you need to do that, is that you can do that. So I just uploaded a PDF over on Patreon that steps through those weird exercises I do to build up my patience. And this has been one of the most powerful parts of my transforming my life. And you can get it as a patron over on Patreon at any level. So if you'd like to get access to that and support the show so I can keep creating this content for you and I don't have to move back to focusing on clients, if you'd like to do all that, you can learn more at John Morris Online dot com slash patreon and i'd really really love to see you over there all right everybody that'll do it for this episode if you like this episode be sure to like it so they know that you like this kind of content if you know someone who could probably use a little kick in the butt about patience i'd appreciate it if you'd share this with them and if you haven't yet be sure to subscribe so that you never miss an episode again thanks for watching and we'll talk to you next time